Lighting is complex, so when shooting, you should be asking yourself more questions than just, should this shot be brighter or darker? Understanding the color difference between light sources is critical to getting the best look from your camera. Science tells us that light is a vast spectrum that ranges from what we see into invisible or infrared and ultraviolet light. In between is the entire rainbow of colors, graded by color temperature on the Kelvin scale. On this scale, incandescent or tungsten light sits about 3200 Kelvin. Sunlight varies as it travels across the sky, but is generally placed at 5600 Kelvin. At dawn and dusk, it's actually warmer or more reddish, meaning counterintuitively that it has a lower color temperature. On an overcast day, daylight has a higher color temperature, leading us to perceive it as cooler or more blue. While your brain automatically corrects for these differences in color temperature, your camera doesn't. It simply records the color that enters the lens. In order for your camera to record colors accurately under different lighting sources, it needs to be white balanced. Yes, digital cameras have an automatic white balance setting, but if your location has multiple light sources, you might get some strange results. It's during these times that you learn the hard way that you can't always fix it in post. Balancing and balancing often will need to occur as temperatures will most certainly change unless you're in a studio where the lighting is kept the same. The first step is learning how your camera white balances. You'll need to find something that is white or at least neutral, like a piece of paper and place it in front of your camera. For a typical digital camera, there'll be a setting in your menu or a separate button. In DSLR cameras, white balancing can be a little more complicated. Check your user manual for the details. The key is to make sure your white is being lit by the main lighting source. Don't turn your camera onto a white wall, for example, because that's not getting the same light as your subject. It's a good idea to experiment with your camera in different situations. You need to be comfortable white balancing and know what results you'll get. If your camera settings aren't giving you the results that you want, you can correct lighting color with some simple tools. One tool is the lamp or bulb in your lighting fixture. A trip to your local hardware store will reveal a wide variety of choices in fluorescent tubes and even common house lamp bulbs. Another basic correction is the gel. A few sheets of gel on hand can be a game changer. Place these thin sheets in front of your light to instantly change the color temperature. If you have a light that gets very hot, make sure the gel is away from direct heat because they will melt. There are large sheets of gel available to cover an entire window if that's what you need. Thanks to the advent of LED lighting, there are some new lights that have adjustable temperature settings. They are small, powerful, take less power, color correctable with the turn of a dial, and they don't get hot. A small LED light can make all the difference in the world when those mixed light issues arise. White balance is going to be based on the look that you want to achieve. Ask yourself, what's important with this image? What am I trying to say? Be observant of the light around you and learn from your lighting mistakes. Ultimately, this will help you know what is most important about lighting and get you closer to the shots that you want to achieve. Continued learning and practice, as well as taking refreshers on the basics, will help keep your skills sharp. Check out our video courses to stay on top of your game. Find a course by visiting videomaker.com courses or click the link in the description.